If you're interested in what the Fallout mod community has to offer this week, you're at the right place. I'm Diabrum bringing you the latest modding news and mod reviews, and here's a bunch of mods. We're starting off with the biggest mod of the week, both in popularity and content. This is Northern Springs. Northern Springs is the result of two years of daily modding work. It's a mod the size of a DLC, over 25 quests, 4 jobs, 4 new followers which are completely voiced as well, 3 settlements, 2 player homes and tons of new locations, weapons and armor. This is massive guys. It's a DLC, completely free, but if you want to download it, play it and endorse it, consider paying the mod author Modular Illusions some cash for the hard work. It's these kind of mods that add hours upon hours to your playthrough. And with Fallout 76 coming up, this is the ideal time to start a playthrough and incorporate this mod in your new adventure as well. Another location, be it somewhat smaller, is the Mad Factory by American Weirdo. This location can be found in the northeastern part of the map, and in true Fallout style there are some experiments that went wrong. This time it is the mad scientist Dr. Disaster who tried to create an army full of robots, but of course things went south, and now the robots are rampaging about in and around the building. American Weirdo really put a bunch of robots in and clearing this won't be an easy task. It's sort of a gauntlet, although the building isn't designed in a linear way, so you have various rooms to explore. It's not all too serious, this mod, but if you want to challenge some robot scrap or if you just love to fight robots, this mod is worth checking out. Also, not all that serious is the Kaiser Model Special by Showburglar. I'm featuring a video here from Trollen Bros, which is a hilarious channel I recently discovered. He did an in-depth and very funny review of this mod, so I'm not gonna use my own material. This is full credit to him. I mean this as a compliment when I say it reminds me a lot of MXR, but the humor is more witty and less sexist. About the mod, it's a small joke. Displacing the barrel on a gun. But it triggers some hilarious in-game action, especially when you talk to the mod to feature this on all enemies. If you want to know more, just check out Troll and Bros video, I'll put the link down below. Interested in more guns? Here is an M60 machine gun. The American M60 originated from 1957 and it was derived from the German MG42. It mainly saw use in the Vietnam Wars and these days it is largely phased out in favor of the MG240, which proved superior in various comparison tests conducted by the American Army in 1995. Given that the Great War in the Fallout universe started in 2077, it's not that likely that the M60 would still be around by that time, but even these days the machine gun is still in use by some countries and for example the Coast Guard apparently. Should the M60 still be around however, you can kill some robots with it or whatever you like really. It looks great, it's highly customizable and it adds some variety to the machine guns in the game. It also has custom sounds and animations available. All in all, awesome weapon mod. The video is once again by Trollen Bros. The last piece of weaponry for this week is a retexture mod. This time it retexture of the missile launcher by Pillari. And damn does this look good. 4K textures for if you want to blow up your enemies in style and in high resolution. There isn't that much more to say about this so I'll just show some more footage of this great work. Look at the details, how clear the symbols and texts are. It's gonna be a blast playing with this. We're moving on to some helmets, and it is time for the Pickelhaube by Fenderstrat17, which I think is a reference to a Fender Stratocaster, best guitar ever made. The Pickelhaube, which is a German for, let's say, pointy hat or pointy headgear, is most famous for its use in the Prussian army in the mid 19th century. My education made sure that I will always associate this helmet with Otto von Bismarck. Because I remember seeing him as a kid and thinking, that's a really silly helmet. 
and it still is in my opinion, mainly used these days in ceremonial activities, but should you want to use it in Fallout, now you can. It looks silly, it's pointy, and it has a good amount of detail. It can be crafted at a camp station for 5 cloth, 5 leather, and a screwdriver. Modifications aren't possible, I think. Correct me in the comments guys if I'm wrong about this. The second helmet is something completely different, because Modmaster Newer Mind 43 brought the Predator Ballistic Mask from Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands to Fallout 4. The original helm is of course from the Predator movie franchise. Apparently Newer Mind 43 is so god tier these days that he only spent 4 hours doing this. Well, it doesn't show, that's for sure, because this thing looks amazing and I think it complements some Fallout gear really well. And I don't mean the Fallout jumpsuit of course. The helmet is also craftable at a camp station and you can get some mods for it at the armor workbench. We're ending with the sweater, but before we do, consider subscribing to this channel. I'm making individual showcases and weekly modding news videos just like this one. For games like Fallout, Skyrim, Fermatide 2 and Final Fantasy 15. Now back into the game, to the sweater. This is Dave's sweater, which also comes with pants. It's craftable at the camp station and then can be modified and colored at the armor workbench. I chose a yellow and zebra outfit because zebra. And that's it guys, thanks for watching, there's two more videos for you coming up. See you soon. Bye-bye.